When you enter Green Lighthouse, the first thing you notice is an exceptional amount of daylight. Green Lighthouse is the first public carbon neutral building in Denmark. It has reduced the energy consumption by up to 75% through its design. It's a faculty building for the students of science at the Copenhagen University. It has visionary architecture, it has healthy indoor climate and it has huge amounts of daylight. Daylight is a very important energy source in a Green Lighthouse. If you were to imagine that there were no roof windows uh, in Green Lighthouse, it would have two major consequences. One is that you would not have the passive solar gain, which helps to heat the house. And the second one would be that you would need to have a lot of uh, electrical lamps in order to give you the same amount of daylight. There are light sensors which make sure that if you start needing the electrical light, which you will do at one point, they will s slightly be dimming up when the natural late daylight goes down. That's also a way of saving energy. In fact, you can save 30% on your electricity bill by using this type of control. Green Lighthouse has taken risks. It represents a number of experiments which can be used no, it doesn't have to be on, on the complete basis, but it, they can be used as single experiments. When somebody has done it for the first time, others will say, well, maybe it is really uh, possible. And if we can build a building that live up to the expected demands of EU in 2020 with the products we have in 2009, it's evident that there is room for trying to uh, make regulations on this area.